Hey guys, Drew Blowing Back. I'm Aaron. And I'm Melanie. And we're back with Supernatural. Yes. Last time on Supernatural, we had Jack dying and He's not dying. Lucifer living? Question mark. Black world that bright red eyes came from. Yeah, so uh, had some things going on there. There was no monster or anything, just kind of moving the story of what's mm -hmm. happening with Jack and what's happening with well, Nick. There was a shaman. He kind of turned out to be a monster. I'm a monster. Monstrous person. Yeah, so uh, that's what happened with that. Um, I think that's about it. We had Rowena show up. Uh, yes. We had a nice scene with Jack and Dean driving their car and stuff. So Aaron really hopes that Catch might be in this episode. Well, we've been kind of having like a few people just kind of showing up, showing up, showing up. So I'm hoping we get a show up of somebody in this one and catch we haven't seen for a while. So, could be fun. All right, guys, so let's watch and see who shows up this time. What happens next? If someone like me. I don't know. Then it's going to be an adventure. He's gone. What? What? That quick? Waking a bonfire. On her style. That's what Jack would have wanted. Sam. Your brother's in pain. We all are. Just let him be. Tonight, we get loaded. <laughs> I can't believe they're really doing it with Jack. <laughs> I know. Here we go. I know, right? That he had to be reborn. I don't remember any of that. Uh, is there nothing that's coming to get him? Crap. You don't need Lucifer. That's where the angels go, right? Hello, Dean. Dean, you remember Lily Sunder? You got old. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> <laughs> An unfortunate side effect of giving up magic, I suppose. My magic draws power from the soul, the human soul. He could save him. You'd give your soul up? Not my soul. Hmm. His. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Pass. It's not his entire soul, obviously. Resurrection and a cure. Hmm. You're welcome. And you would <laughs> do all this for us, huh? Uh, for what? Out of the kindness of your heart? If you want my help? Get me into heaven. Hmm. I'm talking about that kid's soul. I knew this was the obvious choice. So I haven't hired a mm. temp to make sure the soul trains kept running on time? Fine, great. So we summon him. You can do that? You can summon a god? Done it before. <laughs> All right. I was going to say Anubis for heaven and hell. This seems weird. Yeah. Gorgeous this hey, is. Hey, Emily. Is it Kelly? Who are you? I'm Jack. I'm your son. Someone say, who else does he really know? Whoa. It's you. <laughs> I don't understand. You were just a baby. I, I grew up. Do you know where you are? <laughs> you're terrible. First time seeing your son, and you realize no. that they're dead too. Yeah. No, 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 baby, no, no. Castiel, he was, he was supposed to take care of you. He did. All right, Lily should be done in a second. She's writing instructions for Jack, so we'll know how to use the soul-sucking magic. Why, wow, lady's a peach. Listen, no. we talked about this. <laughs> I know. Gotta happen. It's the only way. Right. Me. 
my daughter, my little girl, is in heaven. And if there is still a piece of my soul, now do you understand? Hello? Hello? I think it's Lucifer related. Yeah. But we saw that black chasing behind. And there's not very many angels. Yeah, I know. What happened? Maybe let him go. Hello, Castiel. Hey. Oh. Duma. Jack's gone. How is that possible? Perhaps the angel side of him knew he was in heaven. In any case, he left. Naomi, what is happening here? We're under attack. Oh! Naomi. Castiel, run! It can just show up. The brothers Winchester. I must say, your files have come across my desk many times. We never met. <laughs> I mean, we died. Yeah, a lot. I'm more of a back of the house kind of guy. <laughs> Death and his subordinates get all the face time. That's kind of cool. Lots of bands. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry. No. That was the good. Change it. I can't. Because God doesn't decide. I don't decide. You do. Each of you. Huh. Your individual choices. All tallied up at the precise moment of your death. I like that. So start living good, is what he's saying. Mm-hmm. You could change it. Keep me here. Try and kill me. It is not going to change Lily Sunder's fate. Hey, put their hands over. Yeah. While well, he's here, may as well. There's a lot of bad, though. Yeah, but if she just spends her last of her time doing good things, maybe she can counteract all the terrible angels she killed. I guess. <laughs> and he's still did some Kelly, too. He's wonderful. He's good. <laughs> you know? We've been getting to know each other. What are you doing here? Sam and Dean and I, we found a way to bring you home. Duma. Try again. Oh no. Can look like whatever. It was her the whole time. <sighs> da -da -da. Enough. Stop interrupting! I'm taking him. And where I'm taking you is worse than hell. Because at least hell is something. Uh, fight nothing. Hurry up, send him back. Hurry. Good, this might be a couple of whites. This can be a thing that can bump her up some, right? Yeah. Oh. For your daughter, who's in the nothing. What? The water plates? Take me in his stead. But you're already mine. Not for years. Eons. But if you'll agree, I will go now and I will go willingly. Come on, Cass. We do. Trick? No. Deal. Oh, but not now. I want you to suffer. But it leaves their host alive. Why? Why did you do that? Because I made a promise. <laughs> because I love you, Jack. And Sam and Dean, they love you. And they are fighting for you at this very minute. Oh, 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 And I hope that we didn't get enough time. Great life. Love me, me. <laughs> Lily? And that's why she didn't want to do it. She was gonna kill her doing it. Then she wouldn't have any time to do good. <laughs> her last act 
is a selfless act for her, for not herself, you know? Oh, 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 do you think? You think it changed it? I don't know. Care to try your luck again? The Archangel Michael's location. Yeah. You know where he is. We have an idea. Who oh, she does not say in Dean. <laughs> Yay! Jack is back! Yeah, right? Oh, thank goodness. I thought we were going to lose him for real. The first thing I wrote was Jack died. I know, like, his final words, like, you know, maybe this way things are, maybe this is the way that things are supposed to be, and then mm -hmm. it's okay, it'll be an adventure. Yeah. Make sure you tell Dean it's okay, and... The thing, ah. I, the thing I like, though, okay, so, he's half angel, he's half human. So the angel side was being fought about over the human side. The human side would go to heaven, the angel side would go to the nothing. So where he was originally was the human side. And his okay. human side of like where he would want to be was adventuring with Sam and uh, Dean and Cass. Yeah. Getting a burger <laughs> figuring <laughs> out where to go, you know? Like that was, you know, hers was like, you know, she didn't really know Jack, uh, Kelly Klein. Right. But she had a puppy that she loved, whatever, and her thing was like, go get it, Roosevelt, you know? Like she was just, that was like her heaven that she was in. But I just like that in this, we also saw that Jack's human heaven counterpart was just being with his dads yeah so i was wrong we didn't get any catch we no got kelly we got kelly yeah that's true <laughs> you know what I mean? talking like, about bringing back characters and whatnot person. i didn't think i didn't think that she would show up but we did i kept forgetting her name because every time i looked at her i just kept thinking of nora, nora. yep <laughs> yeah. so which she plays a character named nora in a uh, in legends of tomorrow and stuff so which that starts back next week yeah it comes back here real soon um, uh, actually, last week. Comes back on April 1st. It came back on April 1st. Yep. <laughs> Play with the mind. I was confused for the first bit whenever they said about Anubis deciding on heaven and hell. I'm like, why are you using an Egyptian god for heaven and hell? That seems weird. But then they said after God left, they like brought him in to make the decision. So yeah, I'm like, okay. I was waiting for like, you know, the stereotypical like Anubis. <laughs> like what we saw in the pictures, the dog looking thing. So I was like, what? Gotcha. We got a human? Okay, For some reason, whenever he sense. first showed up, his face, like his eyes and stuff like that, I thought of Tim Curry. I don't know why. And I'm like, it's definitely not Tim Curry. I, didn't see I don't know Tim why Curry. it reminded me of him. But though. he had big eyes, so maybe. Castiel's deal? Yeah. Uh, it's terrible. Like, at first, I was like, okay, just take him now. Like, at least Cass knows what he's doing, and it's a fair deal. She made it completely worse. By saying, no, I'm not taking you now. I want you to suffer. As soon as you let yourself be happy and those sun rays touch your face, I'm taking you. <laughs> Basically, the best time, once things have calmed down, everything, Cass is going to be gone. Yeah. It's kind of what, he, what she gave him. Yeah. Which, this is supernatural. That will so, never happen anyway. <laughs> so, was all of this was unrelated to last episode's Nick, like... Because we saw like, the same exactly. thing happening. Is that all unrelated to this? Like, could a new deal happen if Lucifer's trying to escape the nothing? Or was that the forming of the nothingness coming to get Jack? I don't think I don't it, was, it was. Because it showed his red next, eyes. Like, Nick's prayer or whatever. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. So, I don't Regardless think... of that, though, I, the thing I think is more Lucifer y is the red eye thing. Because yeah, everyone else always had, like, yellow eyes, or they always had um, the blackout eyes, mm -hmm. or they had, like, these yellowy glowy blue eyes or something and it's very specific to lucifer his he always had the red so i don't know what do you think about kelly meeting jack oh i cried because that's the first time well except for after he was born but after he, she died giving birth to him she got to see the baby though right she i don't think got so. to see the baby and then she was gone Maybe. Like, she got to see the baby. Oh, he's beautiful. 
cast turn around, put him down, and she's gone. Maybe. I thought. Maybe, but even still, like... Like, it's the first time, like you said, seeing him. Could you imagine, like, not have, like not knowing your kid, and then you meet them for the first time, really, as an adult? And then you find out that it's because you're dead, and you realize where you are, and then you realize, wait, why are you here? Like, that'd be t crazy. It'd be so sad. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I, like, for this whole episode, I just have a teardrop, because I didn't see the name. So I just have teardrop where I usually write the name of the episode. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's called Byzantium. Why? So I don't know. The Byzantium is something in lore, but I don't know exactly what it was. But it wasn't Doctor Who. Okay. <laughs> but no, I mean it was it was nice. I liked Jack. He also got a moment. You know, I didn't get a lot of time with you, and you know that little goodbye moment they had was sad. But all of the dads, like you know, trying to get him back, and I love the little like there at the end of them all like getting a time together too. So. Yeah. It's really good. I love, like, Lily and her daughter and stuff, and them, like, you know, you, Dean's saying to her, like, why would you ever want someone else to go through what you went through? They're going through what she went through because her daughter was a Nephilim, right? Exactly. Is her daughter in heaven, then, or is her daughter in, in the, the empty? Yeah, how does she know? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, that's, uh, I kept on thinking, like, shouldn't her daughter be? Even Anubis was like, okay, say hello to your daughter for me. Yeah. So, maybe it'll just be her memory. <sighs> Maybe. I mean, maybe if she goes to heaven, yeah, she'll have a happy memory of her daughter and stuff, and that would be her heaven, and she won't know the difference. I mean, the humans. The way the one angel talked about, too, was that, uh, you know, uh, maybe Jack's angel side, you know, realized he was in heaven. So apparently, like, humans, when they're in there, unless they're interrupted for some reason, just think that they're not in heaven. They're just in whatever world they're in, you know, just doing whatever it is they're doing. Mm -hmm. I did like what Anubis said, though, whenever he was doing the... Checks and balances, mm -hmm. <laughs> but this was the measuring of your goodness, I yeah. guess. He never decides, though. No, he doesn't decide. No one really decides. You decide. <laughs> and I really like that because I'm like, well, that goes for life in general. Yeah. And that yeah. she can make the decision to go to heaven. She just has to do good. Yeah. And this was her last good act. Well, if she also knew, that's why she didn't want to do it. She was trying to get to heaven beforehand. So she's like... Well, I won't go to heaven. You know, I don't want someone else to go through that. This is going to kill me, but I'll do it for them. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to go through that to help someone else, you know, spare the heartache I went through. I mean, it's a selfless act in the end of it. Originally, it wasn't. Originally, it would have just been like, hey, I'm going to die doing this, but I'll do it if you send me to heaven. Yeah. Then it turned into, I'll do this to help you, even though it's going to send me to hell. Because she kept saying it was my magic. You can use my magic. Like, the way that she kept saying that, I was like, okay, hmm. Like, yeah, what does but it was, that really well, mean? Well, my magic was that it was, it was her magic she created utilizing from the angels, what she knew and stuff, too. But I think the start of it that she did had to use a little bit of her soul in order for her to kind of jumpstart it. Because she had to read off something, too. And then he had to finish it off and then use some of his soul and use some of her soul, I think. It was interesting. I liked the episode. And I'm glad that they did not kill Jack off. <laughs> yeah, no, I really thought they were going to. So, but, like you said, we did not have any of the next storyline slash Lucifer. So, I'm wondering what's happening there. We keep on, like, we'll have an episode that has Lucifer and Nick and stuff involved in it. And then it would go and not have him for ev for episodes. And then it would come back. Like, I think he was in the first two episodes. And we didn't see him again until the last episode. Yeah. So, I'm very curious to see what goes on there. That's it, It's a very sad and happy episode. Yep. Yeah. Like, lots of reunions that were very good. Yeah. It was a good episode, and uh, we'll have to see what happens next time. And if Lucifer's back, because Jack's back, but also is Jack of Powers. That's another question I had. Oh, yeah. Because, like, he had grace, but then he still wasn't, like, it fought against him. But he still took grace, so. But then he died. Yeah, I know. So, so I did the grace disappear? I don't know. Hopefully we'll get some more answers next episode, guys. See you then. Bye. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and check out Patreon so you don't miss out on anything coming out line wave related. We have all kinds of stuff with early access, full length. We also have polls so you can vote in our polls uh, to either choose new shows, answer questions, all kinds of cool stuff. Not only can I make fun of me because I'm using my hands to do stuff. So, see you guys next time. Bye!